All right, here we got another building. And we got a red one with the green, huh? Here's an original Oliver 60. It's original paint. Here we have another set of trackers. On the right side here, we have a Cockshut 60 standard. Yeah, Cockshut 60. Here's a 70 with a Raby cab. That is amazing. Cockshut 70. So here's the old style 770. Here's the new 770. Your tapered nameplate. Egg crate grill. And your flat top fenders. This is a what you call a standard grill crop. This one's a nice original. Look at how original that is. Here we have a Hart Par 70 standard. Oliver Hart Par actually. Here is an airport 25. This place is a place that Sherry Schaefer bought her airport tractor from. So here we have a 60 industrial, like a standard, but it's going to have the, the orange paint or yellow, whatever you want to, industrial yellow, I guess it is. We got, uh, needs like a seat and stuff, but that's a pretty rare tractor. gas model nice little tractor these serial number tags on the engine on these Let's see ones well looks like it might have a different engine so this isn't going to be accurate for us that was a problem with having the serial number plates on the engines if you run different engine then it's longer accurate. I wonder if that's why they moved it to the frame and the dash. Don't know. Could be. Here we have 70 standard. This is... Nope. I think I made a mistake. I think it's a 70 orchard. It is an orchard. Got some weights. Different draw bar on that, so it's wider. So it would have culling, it would have a the front culling here, going like this. What else can we see on it? Where's the muffler at? This right here is a Cockshut 70 standard on steel. That is a rare tractor. Any cockshit of the Oliver ones are much harder to find. So you got full steel. Here we got an Alice Chalmers WD-45. Got a cab on that. I don't think I've ever seen one with a cab. A nice tractor probably would be fun on tractor rides here we have a hard par 70 standard Oliver hard par actually there you can see the, the grill Oliver hard par Got the nice panels, crank start in the front. Um, I was trying to see if there's a starter on it because it's got a starter box. Interesting wheels. Got a Ride Master conversion on it. Let's see if there's a starter in here. Oh, 
it does have one. Nice. Distributor. It's probably converted to a distributor then. Probably would have been a magneto, I believe. Nice tractor though. Nice nice panels on there. This is another Oliver Hardcar 70 standard. Got a rear PTO driven hydraulic pump of some sort. Now, uh, right here is where you put your your line. Here we have a seventy row crop. Here we have a sixty standard. And a cute little thing, huh? This is a four speed. So, what have we learned from four speeds? They don't have nothing here. They don't have the equalizer paddle. Aside from the obvious plate there or the decal showing four speed. So this is not one you'd want to bring on a tractor ride. Not at all. Okay, back here. 70 euro crops. This is a hard par. 70, I believe. Oh, look at it. Let me get over there. Here's a hard part Oliver 70. So that'd be right in that uh, 35, 6 range, whatever. My memory sucks too bad that I can't recall all those years. And this one here is an Oliver Hard Par 70 as well. This is a 70. He pointed this out. To me, okay, so this is a 70 with the high clearance front axle. But it also has a really long axle in the back. He said you cannot find it in any of the parts books. So it's almost like a one of a kind thing, or very few of them made. And then look how long the axle is. Comes out way to here. Here is an Airport 25, the same as like an Oliver 70. This place is a place that Sherry Schaefer bought her airport tractor from. He's got more than one, so that this one isn't uh, restored obviously. Here's where the exhaust comes out. He's not sure how it's routed on this. Uh, you got the different style fenders for the airport tractor. Here you can see those axles on this one. On the corner, corner there we have a 70 row prop and a 70 standard here. Here we have a Super 55 gas and let's see if I can get out of here and then this guy here is a 70 on steel tiptoe steel standard Here's a pretty cool one. A 60 row crop with a mounted plow for the back. It runs off the power lift. So you hit this lever and that would raise it up. It would move this and it's mounted on the pipe system. It's like the 1095 QD. Here it clamps onto the axle so it looks like it's made just for this tractor. And you have a it's a two-way, so that side, turn around, and go drop the other side. Go right down the same furrow. You don't have to run several. There's a 66 gas. 
a cockshut 70 row crop. So that's not an easy one to find. And then here we have another 70. So lots of 70s here. An 880 diesel. And this one he started up for us. A 1650 gas. He said this one's got a high speed rear end. It goes about 23 or so on the road. Works great for tractor rides. And this is a 1600 utility, right? Not a standard. Yeah, I think he said utility. Uh, gear reduction starter on here. He's been running them on quite a few of them. So it's got the lower axles and stuff. You can see the smaller tires, the rear fenders are smaller, shorter. You look at like this one here. You can see the fender is taller versus that. Uh, I'm going to show you this disconnect he's got. He's been buying these disconnects for the battery. So you put your cables on here, you pull this key out, and your battery's dead. So, fires are often started by the electrical system. So, that kills it. Instead of pulling your battery cables off, and it's harder to run these models, because you gotta get in there. So that's pretty nice. And here is a 66 diesel. Those are a dime a dozen, huh? No. You th go outside, throw a rock, and you could hit one every time. Maybe if you got a really, really, really strong arm. <laughs> Cast rears. Uh, it's got new rubber on it. That's cool. Um, got the curtains. I'll have to ask him if he found these after. Or what? Nice little tractor. Here we got another building. We have a John Deere 50. Oh, a John Deere. Oh, that's green. <laughs> and we got a red one with the green, huh? Here's a Cockshut 70 standard. Painted up real nice. Here's a little tiller. And this has the Ride master seat on it. Probably rides pretty good. And then we have a 1600 gas. Here's a, that gear reduction starter. I'm gonna have to look into them. I like, I like that idea. This would be original paint. A lot of times the white likes to, to rust like that. That white likes to, to do that. It shows up more on them. Here's an original Oliver 60. So original paint. It's got this, this dude on it. It's a beautiful tractor. Nice original. Original. Got a Ride Master seat on it. Conversion. They did offer them in, back in the day. 
because it used to have uh, just a cushion. And then the 70s had just canvas. It's got the nice cover with the, with the little flip cover. So this cover is removed, this one goes down and covers the PTO. It's just a nice, nice tractor. And we've got wheel weights. A press steel. No, I think that's, uh, I think it's pressed steel with weights on both sides. Yeah. I thought it was cast. The cast ones are hard to find. And this would be, all right, you guys, pop quiz. It's got the equalizer pedal. What is it? Correct, it's a five speed. The four speed don't has a different pedals and, and don't have an equalizer pedal. They actually just added a, I believe it's a gear on the outside of the tranny here. That gives you the five speeds. And the cool thing is upper and the lower range has fifth gear. So you have road gear in both ranges. It's the same speed too, it's not different. And here we have a 60 wide front. And you know those are rare. Press steel in the back. Five speed. Now this, uh, according to him, is a, a seat that you could get for this. It was made for this tractor in I think 70s. It has a cutout for the PTO lever here. He says it rides really good with that. I, I would imagine. I think I have seen these before, actually. Another 60s. Mounts right to the power lift. I don't remember who made made it though. Coming to mind is Monroe, but I don't know. Here we have another set of tractors. Look at tractors, tractors, tractors. On the right side here, we have a Cockshut 60 standard. That's a sweet little tractor. Looks like it has new rubber on it. A little gasser. Let's see what the serial number plate shows on this. Yeah, Cockshut 60. Runs a setup kind of like us. She's running sediment bowl in this. And a shut off here. Probably because the sediment bowls a lot of times will leak after a while. Then there's a 60 standard right in front of it. Cockshut and a 60 and an Oliver 60. Both standards. I wonder if he's got the panels for this one. The under hood muffler on it. Here's a 70 with a Raby cab. He said this cab was not only hard to find, they're not real cheap because they're rare. Some pretty cool steps on here. Oh, I like it. Okay. Pretty nice uh, right master seat. It's got this one around the PTO, a little big cover. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at that. It's got a crank handle. That is amazing. That is awesome. I like that. There's a John Deere 3010. Along with these Olivers. See here. I think I'm gonna. I'll just get this guy here. 88 diesel. 
Roll crop, narrow front. Here's a 77. Here we have a Cockshut 70. Paint it up nice. And an Oliver 770. This is the old style grill. Looks like it's got a canopy on it. So here's the old style 770. And then here's the new style. So here you have the grill and the fenders are like the feet line fenders. Here's the new 770. Got your tapered nameplate, egg crate grill, and your flat top fenders. This is a 770 gas. And then we have another 770 here. This is a what you call a standard row crop. It's got a, a lower front axle, a fixed front axle, and it's lowered on the back. Well, I think you said the back is the same about. You can see the tires are the same size. This has got a three point. And then we have an 880 here. This one's a nice original. Look at how original that is. I'll go around the other side and get some footage of that. I know back here he said he's got a a bean picker or bean bean cutter, I think he called it. Mounts on the three point or the uh, be like power lift. Actually, this one's got rams and the mount on the, the pipes in the frame. I never heard of that one, bean cutter. Let's see if I can get around here. The 880. Here's the other side of the 880. Gas. Yeah, pretty nice. Nice original, I think. I'm thinking it's original. There's a uh, diesel and a 77. 